Hey y'all, so um, here is my video post for our discussion board. Um, for part A, I found the information in our class textbook. Um, two counseling approaches that are based on a wellness model. Um, I chose the Adlerian approach, which focuses on building a strong relationship between the client and the counselor and building them up. Um, the wellness approach uh, focuses on enriching versus fixing our clients which I thought was very cool and a different approach. Um, number two, the biopsychosocial model or BPS model proposes a holistic approach to counseling. Um, when relating the BPS model to the clinical mental health counselors, um, the Caker Up standards as of 2009 emphasize the importance of the BPS model with clinical mental health counselors. Um, the technique BATHE really stood out to me um, these are five specific areas to focus on in your counseling, and they're background, effect, trouble, handling, and empathy. Background, um, it starts the counselor-client relationship, which we know is really important. You start it off, you build it, and you make it strong. Um, effect, you try to understand the client's emotional state and where they're coming from. Uh, trouble, looking at the client's presenting problems and their other factors. Uh, handling, try to understand the client's coping style and who their support systems are. Um, empathy, one word that we've heard a lot. Uh, understand their feelings and let them know that you truly care about them. Um, so now on to the podcast uh, where I found the information for the next three questions. Um, the speaker defines spirituality and religion by um, stating in, well, Rephrasing it a little bit, but religion is a person's public face of their belief system and spirituality is a person's private expression of their belief system. And I learned that spirituality can have so many different meanings that it's hard when they start researching it to truly break it down to one. So I like that she pointed out that it's your private feelings on a belief system, um, on your belief system that is. And one thing she did point out was that someone could be religious and not spiritual or spiritual and not religious, that they don't always go hand in hand with each other. Um, what is she related to rural areas and was discussed in relation to counseling persons with religious or spiritual issues? Um, so in small towns, clients may be limited to being able to refer a client to someone else. This is when resources come in handy and reaching out and getting the information yourself um, to be able to work with the client that has religious and spiritual issues, you have to use your resources. It's out there. You just have to use it and find it. Um, Internet's good for something. Um, and then how important do you believe it is for counselors to be able to discuss religious or spiritual issues with clients? What is important or why is it not important? Um, I definitely got into this one. Um, I think it's really important that uh, counselors should be able to discuss their religious and spiritual issues with clients. This is where the cultural awareness truly comes in. Um, the counselor can ask for the client to explain parts of the religion more in depth that the counselor doesn't fully understand to get a better understanding of it. Um, and if you, you as the counselor don't understand something, that's when you can ask, or if they ask you something, you and you just don't know, you need to be honest with them and say you don't understand, but that you'd be happy to go and learn more about it and research it more um, after that session is over. Um, and that way you'll have the information for your next session. And if you just don't feel like you can help your client, then you can um, refer them to another counselor if you have that option. Um, being able to relate with your client um, with this part, it's going to make your relationship that much stronger and make the connection that much better. Um, when people believe in something with their whole heart, like religion, um, they believe their beliefs become their morals and their practices. And having a counselor that can understand why they believe what they do will truly build the relationship and make it that much better. Um, I just want to tell everyone to have a great week now and I uh, wish everybody luck on their midterms and have a great fall break. Bye y'all.